There is no justification for Russia's vicious war against Ukraine and the suffering it is inflicting on the Ukrainian people. In this appalling situation, we have witnessed great bravery from the people of Ukraine. We have also seen admirable leadership from many. In particular, His Excellency, the President of Ukraine, Volodymyr Zelensky, who has been a true leader at this most pivotal of times. This has been a month now since the beginning of the biggest test, a full-fledged war that was started by Russia against our country. There has never been a black month of this uh, magnitude since the Second World War, such destructions and such war crimes. We're all honored by the fact that President Zelensky is willing to address the Swedish parliament. It would mean that all neighbors of Russia are in danger from now on. It would mean that you were in danger because it's only the sea which d divides you and this aggressive policy. And Russian propagandists already discuss on air of their TV broadcasters on how Russia will occupy your Gotland Island and how they will control it for decades. They're showing this on TV to Russians on the map when to war against Ukraine because they want to advance further. We are fighting not only for Ukraine, we are fighting for the security of Europe and we have proven that we deserve to be a full-fledged member of the European Union. The decision is already in the process. This is time to approve that decision. And I'm sure that in this you will also support us. Thank you. And thank you, Sweden. Slava Ukraini, glory to Ukraine. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. President, for your sincere and important words and for taking the time to address us in the midst of the ongoing war. Thank you also for your leadership at this crucial time. I can assure you that the support for Ukraine is strong in this chamber. We stand with you in this struggle because...